My name is the Lido Hotel. All my life was a great adventure. You know why? Since I was on holiday most of the time. I particularly enjoyed each summer, the last two weeks of July, because then young musicians from all over the world shared me as their home and made my walls vibrate with beautiful, beautiful music. I will now tell you the story of the last summer I have spent with them. The first time I arrived here was nine years ago. Uh, I was 12 and uh, yeah, I was very excited when I entered there and it, for me it was a wonderful room because I haven't been so much in a hotel. in this wonderful building and I want to take John to thank John for letting us use this wonderful venue for all these years. It was a wonderful gift. But the real seduction at the beginning was that to have a multitude of nationalities under one roof for two weeks. Uh, we needed space so the best space we thought we could do was have the building behind us, the Lido because it was the only building that could have all the kids together with no outside interference, enough classrooms, enough meeting room, restaurants, and so on and so forth. Let us all welcome the Musica Mundi 19th edition students. other schools or you know where they organize master classes uh, every teacher has a bunch of students so they form different groups and they hardly speak to each other sometimes uh, it's such a pity and here I was I have to say it uh, surprised because I I see all of a sudden in just one building you know all these students all together teachers all together people talking, eating, drinking, joking, and having just a normal life.
you know, it, if that happens, that it of course can happen and does happen, but you, you stop and, and immediately look for the place where you are supposed to be. So please take your time, breathe, <laughs> be happy. <laughs> What we can do, I'm talking about the teachers, you know, the older ones. The main or basic difference in one word is experience. They, they got talent, they are intelligent, they work hard, but sometimes they have to learn certain what, let's call it, you know, certain little tricks. And this is only, I'm afraid, the experience which can give or teach you that kind of little tricks. When a superstar like Joshua Bell comes to Poland, to the regional city of Częstochowa, there's tremendous excitement. Even his 300-year-old Stradivarius has generated headlines. And when a photographer asks to touch it, Bell refuses politely but firmly. Only people I trust. So, so for me, the first time when I arrived in Lido, I was very amazed with all the nature we have around, those beautiful lakes, and it's very quiet compared to uh, where I live, because I live in the city, and here it was like being in a bubble for two weeks. The organization, of course, of all this is really quite, uh, quite important. It's important and really difficult. Difficult, why? Because we close a hotel down for two weeks. 
That means that everything has to be done for the kids so that they can feel happy in their rooms. Of course, the Lido is, is particularly good at that because it's a small hotel. It only has uh, 30, nearly 30 bedrooms. And the children quickly learn to, to learn about the building. And uh, they, they, they feel at home in the building. In fact, when they come back in the evening, it's always they come back home. After all those hours of uh, lesson during the day, uh, in the evening we'll go all together and uh, be in the rooms and then at some point when the staff members were going to sleep, we would go on the roof and sit on the roof all together. Uh, and then it was very funny because uh, either Rachel or the, the staff members that were there were trying to put us back in the rooms, but we were just running through the Lido, hiding in the bathrooms, in the showers. We were also with the girls because they had to go back to their floor. Uh, so we had a lot of fun playing with, with the staff also there.
Of course, Music Amundi started growing, but parallel to the Music Amundi experience, which is taking place now, Hagit, right from the word go, had in her head the idea that the students could benefit from schooling as well as music. Now this takes time because you have to think this through. It's a very difficult project. It takes a lot of time. You need to find the space, you need to find the building, you need to find the money. As we grew towards 70, it was obvious that the uh, Lido behind me uh, was no longer be able to handle that sort of numbers because of course there are teachers as well. Some of them do stay there. So we found a place which is a wonderful, wonderful place, uh, seven hectare, which is uh, something like 30 acres of land in uh, Waterloo. But 
Planning permission was extremely difficult and still is very difficult. So it went on and on. It's been going on something like seven or eight years. Until a few months ago when uh, out of the blue came a call and it happened to be the church calling and telling Music Amundi that they had a site right in the heart of the battlefield of Waterloo. And the Monastère de Fichermont idea came then. From, from the Archbishop uh, Brussels Mecklen, as they call themselves, was really a godsend because it provides the ideal opportunity for Musica Mundi to get the school going without the need to build the building. C'est une salle à manger pour 100 personnes. Donc euh, c'est largement suffisant pour les élèves, les étudiants, les professeurs. Et le jardin est ravissant aussi. Oui, parce qu'en fait, ici, les sœurs vivaient en autarcie. C'est-à-dire qu'ils avaient, quand ils ont construit ici leur, leur monastère, ils ont construit une ferme. Et donc ils avaient des vaches, ils avaient des chèvres, ils avaient tout. Donc ils, ils ont un potager qu'ils ont toujours. Prayer has many, many facets, I think, and one of the facets certainly is to have 30, 40, 50 different nationalities united in playing the same tune, the music tune. And that, I think, will contribute greatly to this building and will continue and permit life to continue in, 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 in an extraordinary fashion. Um, it will lighten up Waterloo, it will give a new lease of life to this building, which really needs now to be um, a major role player in music here in Belgium.
in my opinion, the surroundings will change, but uh, the soul or the mentality, the culture of the festival won't change, and it mustn't change. Music Camerounais does need people not to say how fantastic, how, how wonderful the kids are, how beautiful, and yes, I'll contribute, and then forget about it. Uh, we really look forward to them saying, no, I'll contribute, and here is a contribution to make this happen, because it's going to happen, it's word stop now, the school will open, and it's going to be a tremendous challenge for Music Camerounais in the next few years. And also, I thought one thing about the bow. <laughs> acoustic. So don't forget, all those accents must be very short, even if there is no point. One, two, three, and... Is it possible? Well, that's it. Okay, great.
could you could you just make a swing round me, like a half a circle, all of you? And demi cercle. The things I did all that, when may I say, not in a shy way? Oh no. I don't 